Oh, that's so f***ing cool. And that's how we completely destroy a power board on a leader one plane. Nice. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Quad Chapter Review. This is Pepe Prons, your host. And today we're going to talk about printing TPU in the Monoprice Mini Select version 2. Now, this printer is not made to actually run TPU and uh, needing TPU items, I just was not going to accept that for an answer. So I went out and searched the net and I found about five different solutions for this to make this printer print TPU. Now I went with the easiest one, which is what I'm going to show you today. It's a simple clip you can print out in uh, PLA and snap in and you'll be all set. Uh, and that will give you the ability to print these TPUs. Now, I went out to Amazon and bought some Ninja Flex, uh, a small, I think, 50 gram or something uh, spool of it, which might get me three of these. So it's really small to note that. But uh, what it does is it gave me a shot, at least for inexpensive $11, to see how this works. Now, you can see super flexible part came out no problem off a machine that's not supposed to do it now toward the end here i'm going to give you my settings i'm going to show you the part uh in the in the description text i'll have the thingiverse file uh url to to get the file you need to do this and uh, just follow his video and he'll show you what supports to break out and how to put it in and so on but once you've printed it out just ream it out with your exacto knife and such and it'll work fine so once again uh you can get the mono price mini version 2, um, that's 4 hours, sorry, that's how long it took, about 5 hours, because we're running super slow, but you can get the Monoprice Mini, I got mine open box for $130 from Monoprice, they're going up in price, because they're getting super popular, because their footprint's extremely small, now, uh, I needed a small printer, because, as you can see, my desk is getting pretty clustered up with all my quad stuff, and, and I need, as you can see in the picture, just a small footprint printer there. Most people, I think, are getting the, uh, the C10, C10S or something, which is a great printer, but it's a huge printer, and it won't fit on a desk like mine. So what you need to do uh, is uh, take your part when it's done, clean up all the, uh, all the supports, um, cut them out, uh, clean up all your string and stuff, and when you done that if you need to have and you have any extra strings and such around you can just take a simple uh, grill lighter you know a uh, zippo whatever you got and take those strings and you can actually just burn them off uh, gently of course don't get any soot on your part but uh, you can just take that and you can smooth out because it's rubber and you can round your edges nicely now, one of the big things about the Monoprice Mini that, that I was concerned about was everyone talking about there were so few printers out there that could print exact for our RC hobby to get uh, our exact parts. We need holes to fit. We think need, you know, all the items to fit. And uh, so there was a question for me, but for $130, I was willing to, to take the risk. But as you'll see here, I got my GoPro Session 4 um, and our little mount here that I needed for my quad. And it slides right in tight but not loose, but not too tight, perfectly, as one would say. And, uh, and now it's ready to uh, get mounted on my, uh, my Armiton. So my thought, you know, here on this one, this one might have came out a little too flexible, but uh, I'm going to show you here in the settings what you need to adjust to make that, that rubbery TPU just a little bit more solid because it can be controlled in your settings. Um, but I think, you know, for a machine that's not supposed to do it, I think we're doing pretty good here for 130 bucks, guys. So what the part is, is it's a small part that takes out the gap in the extrusion area right there. That, the part is in it right now, as you can see. And I'm going to take it out here so you can see it. So it's just this little part. Print it out with uh, PLA. Uh, take your X-Acto knife, or I got a tweezer there that's actually kind of will cut, and I just opened up my holes nicely, made sure you're real careful on the V part when you knock your supports off, because it needs to be whole. Um, and uh, fill in this gap right here, because what happens with that gap is um, we're, we're working with a flexible filament, and this filament's a lot like a a big rubber band, imagine it, a long rubber band with that's not connected into a circle. So it 
you know, trying to go in is going to be like a rubber band. It's going to be all dangly and bouncy and try to buckle when it's being fed by the extruder. Um, so this part is made to take out that gap so it has nowhere to do that. It has nowhere to buckle. It has nowhere to have issues. Now, there are five different ways, I think, to do this. And I went with this quick and easy single little piece. Now, other people will place the whole arm and everything, but I didn't. So let's get into the settings. Um, layer height, as you can see, I changed to a smaller layer height. Um, we also changed our uh, fill uh, density. That's what's making it super rubbery at 30. I went up to 50 on the second print you maybe you can hear behind me because that's what supposedly is going to make this a little bit stiffer of a, of, of a rubbery object. Um, the print speed is one of the biggest things. You have to slow way down. I think I was at 80. I went down to 30 uh, as recommended by a fella, and he says don't go any faster. Um, printing temperature, another huge thing. Uh, 240. It was rated for 235. I went to 240 uh, as he recommended, and it worked great. I'm actually printing at 245 right now, which is working great. Um, the bed temp needs to be at 60. It needs something to stick to. My mono print. I don't need to put blue tape down, nothing. It works on my bed. It's a great machine. Um, another important thing is you want to disable retraction because when it does retractions, what it does is it'll, it'll pull a lot more strings because you're telling it it can pick up and move around as it freely will, and that's not good for the part. Uh, retractions uh, also set in the advanced, but those aren't going to work because we have retraction off. So um, we didn't use any plugins and we didn't use any anything else special. <clears throat> Just the big thing being speed, temp, fill density, and um, and your bed. So once you have those things set, you're going to be in great shape. Now, if you have any more questions, please put them in the comments below. And also check out the first video that you'll find in the uh, intro text. Thanks, guys.